Oh, okay. Michelle Manalis. Go ahead. You play a very convincing mommy vlogger. In the oh, movie. thank you. Um, do you watch vlogs and read blogs? And um, no, I watched some vlogs for this movie. Mm -hmm. um, before I met with Paul, I watched a bunch of m mommy vlogs, and I really liked the ones that were kind of messy and sloppy and haphazard, and you know, just being very honest and talking about you know, like mom guilt and stuff like that, and you know, just throwing up a, their iPhone wherever they could while they were in the middle of doing something else. And then, obviously, I found some ones that were much more composed, and there was a lot of great lighting and set design, and um, they were kind of creepy. And it was like something really sinister about them. So Paul and I talked about that and, you know, just trying to make Stephanie's mommy vlog the most, like, perfect beyond perfect like polished overproduced version of itself because and it was Paul's idea to have like the the clicker where you know she can talk to camera two which is so obnoxious yeah. when she like turns to camera two like she thinks she's on her own tv show I thought that was pretty funny <laughs> um there were a lot of twists and turns in this movie did when you first read the script did you see it coming no yeah I didn't know what the twists were going to be, but um, yeah, it really kind of went all out. Like there's, uh, there's, there's no shortage of holy crap moments. Can you talk about working with Blake and had you met her before? Yeah, we met um, at a premiere when we were like 19 and then I worked with her husband Ryan on a movie and got to know her a little bit uh, on that set, but this was the first time we'd worked together and it was so much fun working with her and she um, has such a great sense of humor and she's so warm um, and you know she was just a really amazing scene partner I'm really grateful that she was a part of it there's a lot of daytime drinking between the two of them yeah um, how would you hold up if you spend an afternoon with these two I don't do well in drinking in the day like yeah, not many people do no I think that's always a bad idea because then you have to like kind of like keep drinking or because you like get that weird like tired feeling um, and then it's impossible to maintain that perfect level of like tipsy before you get into sloppy, like, sloppy dangerous territory. You've, ha you've had to kiss a lot of men on screen and I just wondered is there any difference with a woman? Um, well apparently we're um, you know just more efficient because we only had to do like two takes of that <laughs> kiss and um, Henry and I had to try it like 10 times to get it right. That would have been awful with Henry. Of course. Oh, it's, it's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. Did you give him any advice um, about acting and no, not kissing? But. No, you know, um, he was like just so um, professional and, um, you know, so on top of everything when we were making the movie. And, you know, he never, I would never presume to give anybody advice unless they asked me anyway. And, you know, I saw him just a couple nights ago and he was like, how do you do this stuff? You know, it's his first time promoting, you know, he's got Crazy Rich Asians coming out and he um, wanted to talk about, you know, how to handle all of it. So um, I hope that we get to talk more about that soon because I understand it's like a lot to be thrown into and he's doing so well and um, he just couldn't be a nicer guy so um, hopefully I can think of some good advice for uh, how to deal with um, everything that he's going through right now. You play this sort of ultimate domestic goddess. Yeah. Um, how are you in the kitchen? I'm not very good in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm no, sorry to no say. No baking cupcakes? and. No, um, like I, I, I can... I bake sometimes, but I kind of need all day to do it. I could never do it if I had, like, you know, kids to feed and dogs to walk and stuff. It's like a leisurely activity. And what's up next for you? Um, I have uh, an untitled movie with Chris Morris coming out and uh, a Christmas movie called Noel that's going to come out next Christmas. I'm excited about Great. Thank you.